another video. This video was actually filmed a couple of weeks ago and I've just gotten so, so busy with other things and I finally found some time to edit this one. I know there's a lot of scary things going on in the world right now, so I hope that this video can distract you from that and that you enjoy it. And jumping right into the video, as always, I'm filing off her last set. And these are actually my mom's nails. You would have seen these um, on my channel a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yes, these are my mom's nails making, appearance, making an appearance once again. Once I get the majority of the color off, I do prefer to go in with a hand file. I am personally just more comfortable using a hand file, so I'm using that um, to get into the corners and around the cuticle of her nail um, in any spots that I would have missed. And then I'm also just going over the entire nail completely, just making sure it's all nice and smooth. And then I do all of my shaping with the hand file as well. cuticles with my little cuticle pusher here and then I'm taking my Erica's Skyver bit and just using my e-file on a low speed and going around the perimeter of the nail just trying to get off any of that dead skin that's left over. And I'm sure you've guessed at this point I pretty much only use light elegance gel so this part is pretty repetitive in all of my videos. Uh, first, I'm using uh, Light Elegance Vita Prime, and then I'm using uh, Light Elegance Tack as well. And then I'm using One Step, and I'm just putting a really thin layer of that over the entire nail just to make sure I've got that barrier between the natural nail and then the product that we're going to put on top. Please let me know in the comments if this part is boring to you guys, uh, especially since this is pretty much in all of my videos, would you prefer to see all of the prep work or do you want to just get right into the nail art? Let me know in the comments. And 
honestly, this color is probably my most popular color that I've used on all of my clients. Everyone loves it. This is Wet Incarnations from the New Light Elegance collection, and I'm going to put this color on her pinky and her thumb. gel polish so this is the accents Luxio gel polish and this is the color ivory so this is an off-white color it's not a bright white but I feel like off-whites I prefer them even more than bright whites so I definitely I use this color so much I get so much use out of it Using ice cream use cream from light elegance again and I'm just putting that all over her middle finger and then I decided last minute that I want to do an ombre on her thumb I felt like I needed to tie in a little bit more of this glitter somewhere else in this set so I decided to do a little bit of a glitter ombre. And then I'm putting a really thin layer of that one step gel over her finger and then I'm using these really really cute little butterfly glitters. These are from the Glitter Boutique Canada and just putting that all over her pointer finger. And then I'm using this really pretty pink foil um, that I'm putting on her ring finger and this I don't know where I got it from I got it from a friend and I'm not sure um, but I wanted to create kind of a milk bath type of nail on this one and so I'm gonna be layering this with a milky white here in a minute Yes, and so here we go. I'm using uh, Marshmallow from Light Elegance again, and I'm sorry my head is right in the way. I can't help myself. I try so hard not to get my head in the frame, but I guess I just, I truly just have really bad posture and I just truly can't help it. And here I'm adding some more of those little pink flakes that are going over that milky white. And I believe I layer this about three times to get some really cool dimension. Again, a really thin layer of that one step gel just over the entire nail to create a bit of a slip layer and then I'm going in with a bigger bead of gel and then just kind of moving that around so that it kind of does the work for you to create that apex that structure that you always need not sure what to do. I know I'm going to be doing my nails sometime this week so hopefully you guys will get another video of me doing my own nails and I can have better camera angles and my memory cards won't fill up because I bought extras. 
I've also been thinking of doing a sanitation video. Again, with everything going on right now, it's on a lot of people's minds. Um, but I was thinking of doing uh, what to look for in a nail salon, showing you guys how I sanitize my tools and my workspace. Um, it's truly, it's something that should be happening year round, but I know obviously more people are worried about that kind of stuff right now. Um, but again, it's something that should be worried about year round. People should be following these kind of standards year round to prevent any kind of illness, any kind of infection, anything. But please let me know in the comments below what you guys think or uh, let me know on Instagram. Again, this is something I care about so deeply and not many people do and so I feel the need to talk about it. And after I applied that gel, um, I did finish file the nails and I accidentally filed off some of that color on her thumb because I wasn't planning on doing ombre from the beginning so I should have done a little bit of a thinner layer. Um, either way, I had to fill in some spots that I filed off. And then we're going in with some crystals. My mom never likes to do crystals. She's never, I think she's only done crystals maybe a couple times on her nails, but these ones lasted the full, I think two and a half to three weeks. They were all still on there when I took them off. Um, so I'm very proud of that. I also use the Ugly Duckling Sticket to apply my crystals. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what uh, color or size that these crystals that I'm using are. I purchased them all from Canada Nail Supplies and these ones are really pretty light purple and then the other Swarovskis that I picked out um, are a mix pack that I got that has a bunch of different pinks and kind of some purples in there as well. part of doing any set of nails, especially when you're embedding glitter because look at how beautiful that looks. I'm obsessed with it. And that's all for this week guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it brought some light to our gloomy Canadian winters and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.